Hey guys, it's Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm standing in a brand new Glacier Peak F28 RKS, which shockingly we've never done a video on. So this is the first one. So the F28 RKS in the lineup of Glacier Peaks is going to be the longest at 34 foot 8 inches. Um, behind your pickup, that's still only about 29 feet, which once you see as you watch this video, this is a lot of fifth wheel in the same package behind your truck as you would probably get like a 24 foot trailer. So it's a good uh, use of space because part of it goes up over your truck bed. Your overall length is shortened quite a bit, but then, you know, when you get parked, you've got the Taj Mahal. So what is cool about the F28 RKS as opposed to the other models of Glacier Peak is three seating areas. So you have chairs, a sofa, and then also the dinette. The other thing that's awesome about this model is the kitchen. So I'll start by showing you the inside and then we'll take a quick view at the outside and then let us know what you think about it. So this model, because it has the two big rocker recliners, and when I say big, these are bigger than what you would get in like say a 24 RLS. Those are a small rocker recliner. Because you've got all this room here, this is gonna be the biggest rocker recliner that Outdoors RV uses in any other model. Uh, the only other way to get these big rockers would be in the travel trailer version of this trailer, excuse me, of this fifth wheel, which would be the Blackstone 280 RKS. That's gonna be super similar, just a little bit different bedroom bathroom configuration. Um, so you get the two big rocker recliners with the center table. And then you have all this nice overhead storage. In the trailer, it's gonna be a little bit shorter because the ceilings are just a little bit shorter. But this is a really nice feature to have. Sometimes they don't have anything over this area and this one does. So then over here, you've got the, the uh, sleeper sofa. So what's cool about this model, again, is if you do need to make this down into a bed and maybe you have this made down into a bed, you still have an option of a place to sit if people are sleeping on the sofa or the dinette. So you've got the sleeper sofa here. Um, because it's not theater seating with cup holders, they give you a cup holder on each side. USB ports as well as a 110 plug-in. When we come back to the mountain dinette, you also have another USB port and another uh, 110 plug-in. Just like all of the mountain dinettes, this is gonna make into a bed. And then it also has the drawer under each side for extra storage. And then on each side of the dinette, you're gonna get a little additional storage that you do have to tear down the cushions to get to. So you don't wanna put anything uh, there that you need to get to often, but it does provide extra storage. Because this is a titanium series, there's gonna be a lot of extra features on this fifth wheel as opposed to like a Glacier Peak Mountain series. We do have a video that's titanium over mountain and all of the additional features that you get. The only difference between say a travel trailer mountain series and a fifth wheel mountain series is on a glacier peak, uh, the auto leveling system is standard on both. So in a travel trailer, you have to go titanium to get auto level. In a glacier peak, everything comes with auto level, but you still get so many extras on the titanium. Here at Thompson RV, we pretty much just do titanium fifth wheels. We do uh, stock a couple mountains, but mainly our stock is gonna be almost all titanium. So all of the windows are gonna be trimmed in wood. You're gonna get the blackout shades throughout the entire trailer, wood around the slide out, as well as solid surface countertops throughout the whole coach, and then also upgraded cabinetry, upgraded mattress, a lot of different things. So if you're not familiar on the titanium, be sure and watch that video. So the F28 RKS, usually the reason people buy it is because of the kitchen. So this has a nice wraparound counter space, countertop. Let's see, you've got four drawers here, three drawers over here, another pot and pan drawer under the stove. So, I mean, there is a lot, a lot of storage in this bottle. You get the garbage chute. You get all of this cabinetry up above, even some above the microwave. And then if you're prepping food, you have a nice prep work area here, dishes over here. So, I mean, there's a lot of space to really move around and utilize this kitchen. The F27 KVS has a nice kitchen as well. 
I would say that this one has maybe just a skosh more storage. Back here in the back, you're gonna have the Norcold eight cubic foot refrigerator. And this is gas and electric. You're also gonna have a nice pantry over here and then extra storage that's super deep up here. Might need a step stool to get to that. I also love that they give you this nice big window. So that way, if you're here at the sink, you can see out back behind your trailer. And then you also have a small window on this side. Also, that'll help with ventilation. Speaking of ventilation, we order all of ours with the Max Air Deluxe Vent Fans. This is not a standard feature from Outdoors RV. It has to be ordered from the factory. So that is gonna be a 10 speed, uh, fantastic fan, excuse me, not a fantastic fan, Max Air fan, 10 speed, fully automatic. You can set it on exhaust or on intake. Uh, what's really nice is to get one going in the bedroom, one out here and get a nice cross breeze going, especially if you're on 12 volt power only because the air conditioning at that point wouldn't work unless you're plugged into a generator. So you can often keep your trailer cool enough with just the Max Air fans. So coming around to the entertainment center, you have extra storage above the entertainment center, the nice big flat screen Jensen TV, and then a little storage on each side of the fireplace. The fireplace is not a standard feature. We option it into all of our Glacier Peaks. Well, we option it into almost all trailers that can have a fireplace. It is really a nice feature to have. If we didn't order the fireplace, you would get two more cabinets that are only about this deep. Um, so, I mean, you do lose a little bit of storage, but to me, I've never felt like it was super necessary to have all of this storage as well as that, but you never know. Again, because it's titanium, you get the solid surface countertops right here, and then also in the bedroom bathroom. And another 12 volt and USB port over here. And then also this little spot under the step flips up. It's kind of a nice place. When my kids were little, that's where they would store all their toys to keep them off the floor. But also just even shoes or anything of that nature, there is a little bit of extra storage there as well. Now let's go take a peek at the bedroom. The bedroom in every single Glacier Peak is exactly the same. So the bathroom bedroom setup is identical in every model. Because this is a titanium, you're gonna get the upgraded titanium mattress, which is a memory foam gel infused cooling mattress, extremely comfortable. Solid surface countertops next to the bed, under cabinet lighting, the reading lights, the upgraded cabinet doors, and then also the 12 volt bedroom TV. We then also option in the Max Air Deluxe Vent Fans in all of our units that come to Thompson RV. And then on top of that, you get a little bit of storage under the bed. It's really nice for shoes or other items that aren't overly tall. And then the slide out, you're gonna get the nice big closet. So that adds a lot of storage space if you want to go somewhere like Arizona or somewhere on a long trip, or if you're gonna be living in the fifth wheel. The into the bathroom, the slide out, continues in here and gives you extra storage for your bathroom. Another thing I love about the Glacier Peak is the rounded door. So rather than having a door that swings out, because it has the rounded pan, it actually has the door that just slides into itself. Because it's a titanium, you get upgraded hardware in the bathroom. The lit vanity mirror extra counter space, the underslung sink, and then also extra storage under the sink. And then as always, an air conditioning duct, which is really nice right now since it's so hot outside, a heat duct for in the winter, porcelain toilet, towel hooks, and then also the solid hardwood medicine cabinet. With the slide out in, you cannot get back into the kitchen and you cannot access the fridge. Um, so basically you can access the bathroom, the bedroom, and the two rocker recliners, but we don't recommend that you use the slide out while it's in either. So this is a model that if you want to stop while traveling, you're probably gonna wanna park in a location where you can put the slide out out.
Because this is a titanium series, you're gonna get some exterior titanium features as well, such as the thermal pane windows that are frameless, the elongated window in the door, chrome handles, and then the Lamalux 4000 high gloss gray fiberglass. You also get slide toppers as a standard feature. Uh, all Glacier Peaks do come with the 15K air conditioner, and they also all come with 50 amp service. So if you ever do wanna add a bedroom air conditioner, you would remove that Max Air Deluxe Vent Fan that's over the bed, and you do have the option of adding a second bedroom air conditioner once the unit arrives at our lot. So all of the fifth wheels are gonna be single entry model. This one happens to be right smack in the middle. You've got the grab bar handle, triple aluminum step. Back here is where you would have the hatch to access your garbage can. You can also access it from the cabinet that's behind the two chairs, uh, but it's a little easier to access it from back here. What's cool about having the garbage hatch is your dogs aren't gonna get into your garbage as well as just having it contained. Often it's hard to find a location in a trailer just due to the size for somewhere to put your garbage can. So it's nice that they have a separate place and there's actually extra room on each side if you wanted to have extra garbage sacks, maybe a little taller garbage can, that's just the one that comes with it. So you've got some options with this compartment here as well. As I stated earlier, this has the auto leveling system on everything above the 26 RKS, you're gonna get six point auto leveling. Exterior speakers, electric awning, because it's titanium, the electric awning does run off of a remote as well as the slide outs and as well as the awning light. On all of the Outdoors RV, you're gonna get the heavy duty off-road X4 suspension. Uh, you know, some people go, well, I'm never gonna be going off-road. Well, trust me, some of the roads here in uh, Oregon or Idaho, Utah, they're just as bad as going on off-road. So you would never buy a car without suspension. You definitely want a fifth wheel that's gonna have suspension. The Off-Road X4 suspension package is something they do on all of the Outdoors RV models. The Glacier Peak is built on a 10-inch I-beam chassis, all custom built over in LeGrand, Oregon. Heavy duty axles. And then you've got the Goodyear Endurance Load Range E tires. And then the Off-Road X4 suspension package consists of the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, heavy duty shackles with bronze bushings, and the KYB Off-Road shocks. Uh, one thing that I love about fifth wheels is not only the overall package being smaller, but because your bedroom bathroom area comes up and over this area of the fifth wheel, you end up with a lot more storage than you would end up with a travel trailer. Uh, so much storage that we actually put in the biggest Dometic CFX fridge freezer. These are 12 volt. So the factory started adding in a 12 volt plug in here so that you can easily put one of these in your front compartment. But the travel trailers, they only fit one size. The, the fifth wheel fits the biggest size and there's plenty of room. If we wanted to add a big more ride tray, like the ones that come in the back country, you could easily have this on a tray, pull out your tray to access the fridge and be able to access both of those compartments. So that would be a super cool feature if a person wanted this extra 12 volt compressor uh, fridge freezer. So a USB port, 12 volt outlet, they give you a table. So it's got its own little locks in there. You can pull out a table, something to have, you know, next to your barbecue or something like that. You have a light and then you also have a battery kill switch. There's a spot for your um, little jack handle. This is an override if something were to happen and you needed to override the jacks. And then they also on each side give you plumbing access. And it's really nice. They give you a nice clean door and all of this is carpeted, it's all insulated, and then the diamond plate rubberized flooring to protect the floor. You get a 110 outlet here, so if you do want to plug something in while you're out under the awning. Every outdoors RV on the roof is going to be wired for 510 watts of solar that's gonna run through the 30 amp charge controller. They also have an additional 200 watts of solar right here at the side. This is gonna be separate from that charge controller and those panels. So you do wanna make sure, I would recommend getting a ZAMP brand because not only does the plug match up, but ZAMP has a built-in charge regulator on their portable panels. 
If you do a lot of boondocking, another cool feature about the Glacier Peak, uh, last year we talked to the design team over there and had them make this battery compartment a little bit bigger. So you can actually fit up to four lithium batteries. Where on the tongue of a travel trailer, we can only fit three. On here, you can actually fit four, or you could do four six-volt AGMs. Just kind of depends on what kind of camping you plan on doing. Just like on the travel trailers, the Glacier Peak is going to come with the full fiberglass cap that wraps over the sides of the and put this seam right here. They've given you some extra rock chip protection on the corners. This cap, the way it's designed, it's what we call a max turn radius cap. So not only is it mid profile and gives you way better gas mileage and towability, um, but also the way it's angled, if you have a short box Ford or Chevy GMC, you do not need a slider hitch. Dodge, unfortunately, their axle is too far forward the way they place it in their short box pickups. So if you have a Dodge short box, you are still going to need a slider hitch. Dodge long box, no problem. Any long box, no problem. But Ford and Chevy, their axle placement is farther back in the pickup. So like I have a GMC, uh, what they call a standard bed. It's still a short box, six and a half foot bed. But my axle is far enough back that I do not need a slider hitch to go with this fifth wheel because of the way the cap is designed. You also get the more ride uh, suspension on the Kingpin. So that's going to give you a much better ride. People often talk about chucking. You're not going to get chucking with a really nice Kingpin like this one. Uh, here you've got a split door. That way if you are hooked up to your pickup, if you had one big door you wouldn't be able to get it open. So if you've got your tailgate is right here, with a split door, you can get in and access everything in here that you need to without disconnecting from your pickup. Right here, on every Glacier Peak, you have two gray tanks, both 40 gallons. So you get 40, 40 on gray, uh, 80 gallons on fresh, and then 40 gallons of black. So you've got one black and one gray pull handles right here. I'll show you on the side where you actually connect the hose, but that's where the pull valves are fully enclosed and heated. Nothing is gonna be hanging down and exposed to the elements. As you can see on this side, you do get the slide topper standard on the Titanium series. It is an option as of right now to get the backcountry or the mountain series with slide toppers from the factory. So of course we're ordering all of ours equipped with that. Two seven and a half gallon propane tanks on the Glacier Peak with the same auto changeover regulator that you would get on a travel trailer. Over here, this is the other side to your pass through storage. Um, it does neck down a little. So if a person wanted the full sliding more ride tray out of both sides, it necks down just a little right here. So you would want to fit it to this side versus fitting it to the other side, or you could always do a half tray. The auto leveling controls are right inside this compartment. Over here, you've got a little hatch. So if you've got your city water hooked up, if you're in a park, you can go ahead and have your city water hooked up. And then this little cap comes off. That way you can have the door down. It's nice to have this all up. It's not necessarily heated, but it's all up and enclosed. So it's going to get some residual heat from the trailer and from the compartment. You've got your black tank Santa flush right here. You've got your low point drains for winterizing. And then you also have, this is where you would fill your seven, excuse me, 80 gallon fresh water tank. And then also your outside shower, quick disconnect. Right under here, this is where you would hook your sewer hose, the two valves in the front. That's gonna empty your black tank and your gray tank for the bathroom. You also have a light right here in case you need to dump uh, and you need a light if it's in the dark. Back here, this is where you're gonna hook up your uh, second gray tank hose for the galley. And then there's a pull handle right underneath there. This is where you would connect your 50 amp power cord, cable hookup, as well as satellite. All outdoors RVs come with the heavy duty ladder on the back. We do recommend that you get up on your full walk-on roof at least twice a year to check your roof sealants. Because it's a titanium, you're gonna get the backup camera and also backup lights. 
These are really nice if you are parking in the dark. It's really nice to have the area illuminated and then also have a backup camera. Access to your furnace, access and venting to your refrigerator, four inch steel bumper. We order all of ours with the mountain storage hitch. So it comes with the rear receiver hitch that holds 250 pounds, as well as a toy lock on the front to lock up whatever it is that you hauled in. This is where you would access your 10 gallon DSI gas electric water heater. And that is the F28 RKS. Right now, we have all four Glacier Peak floor plans in stock and available to look at. Um, for all, all four floor plans in stock is kind of weird for us. Often we sell out really quickly. So if a person does want to see them, all four of them side by side, you can see every single one and compare and see which one you like best. Um, all of them in stock in the titanium. I only have a couple mountains in stock on uh, each floor plan, but everything else in the titanium. So if you have any questions or you just want to come and compare and see our dealership, please just feel free to reach out. We have the number listed down below. Anybody here can help you. Everybody's very knowledgeable. And thank you for watching our video.